What's up guys? How we do it here? Another fun project. Really excited. We are going to put in the Focal IFB MW Sub V2s on a 335 IS. It's going to be nice. And there those beauties are. So these are made to directly just pop in, pop the seat out, and pop them right in. Supposedly it's pretty easy. Takes a factory harness. Um, should be a pretty quick project. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and use the stamp, the stock amplifier, which I think is 40 watts. My plan is, as this project continues, to put probably about 100 watts RMS on them with a precision power amp. Stay tuned. All right, so here we go. Putting in, replacing the 8 inch under seat subs. So the first thing we have to do is remove the seat, flip it up so we can gain access to the subs underneath. Um, so to do that, we take out four Torx bit screws. Those are on the seat rail. Right there. That's a, and this is a 335 IS. Those are T50s. So I've got my T50 here, and I'm gonna go ahead and push the seat back. And we're simply going to take the socket and take out the T50. And important note here is we do not wanna disconnect any of the harnesses. We just wanna simply flip the seat backwards when we're done. All right, I've got the rear seat bolts out. I'm gonna go ahead and push the seat back to the farthest position so that'll give me the most access to the under seat. And it's just kind of naturally falling backwards. And all right, so I've got it. The seat popped up, doing a wheelie. As you can see, there's all kinds of harnesses and goodies and stuff in there. I do not want to disconnect any. I need a vacuum. Um, what I want is access to this subwoofer grill, which is another T Torx bit. Let me get my Torx out. All right, I kind of have to pause here because all the videos I've seen, everyone is taking a Torx bit to take the grill covers off but it appears to be standard old Phillips head. So I got my number two Phillips head right here. All right, this is proving to be a little more tricky. I've got a, uh, I think a strong bow flipped up to hold this seat up. It's getting at these 10 millimeter bolts. There's one right there. And there's one right there. I'm pretty sure. Gotta take these off. So this is kind of a pain in the ass. So we gotta take these two 10 meter bolt, millimeter bolts to get this thing out. All right, let me just say, that was a complete pain in the ass to get that thing out of there. Um, the bolts holding it in actually ended up being bolts with nuts, not bolts. So if you're actually 10 millimeters removing the nut. So now I got this wiring harness. Looks like it has a speed clip and I just push in with a flat head. All right, so old driver is out right there, and the new driver, let's get this baby out. All right, so orientation goes right into the factory, and looks like a beautiful, perfect fit. And reapply the torque screws into each corner. And I guess, which makes sense to me, we're supposed to use this cover because when you go to put them back, it's a possibility for damage. So that kind of lets you just be able to stuff it in there. So another note, when you're tightening these screws, you want to turn them until they're tight and then about a half turn, a quarter turn. Don't over tighten. 
or you can work the basket. Bolts out too. All right, I'm sweating. Now I gotta put those 10 millimeter bolts back in the corners. Pull the carpet down, now I see why they got the protector. This really is a royal pain in the ass. All right, I got those 10 millimeter, millil millil millimeter bolts in. Now I'm gonna put the cover back on. And that should be it for this side. All right, so I got the covers back on. Screws, screw in the seat, do in the front first. Then I'll do the two in the back. And I did an audio check before I put everything back. All right, so we are attacking side number two. So we'll repeat the process.